hello welcome back to calypso moon welcome in if you're new come join me i am going to do uh, a career check-in career and finance check-in and a love check-in for the month of may this next coming up week of may just here in the near future so this is going to be for the sign of capricorn so if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Capricorn. This message could resonate for you. Um, if you're interested in a personal private reading, there will be information to book one of those down in the description box below. If you feel like this reading resonates with you or you feel like my energy resonates with you, go ahead and hit that like button, uh, subscribe, comment, and if you feel called, share with your friends. I would really appreciate you. So let's go ahead and get into the spread. For Capricorn, Spirit Guides, Benevolent Ancestors, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Ah, uh, that's too many. That was a lot too. So this is going to be pertaining to your career and finances. Then I'll do a Celtic cross for your love situation. All right. So off top, I see that there's been some type of disconnect here with either a job loss or some type of income might not be doing so well. Um, maybe you lost the stream of income, a business closed down, something like that because you have the faith card, which is in other decks represented as the Hierophant. This is basically you probably seeking guidance or praying or trying to keep your faith in whatever is going on here. You also have the Queen of Swords here, which is telling me that something has called for you to have discernment um, moving forward to cut it off or get rid of it. So that's also something ending. <sighs> but I do feel like you are coming into a more controlled state of your emotions because you have the Palace of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. But, I mean, those are your deep emotions. That's an offer of deep emotion or you were connected deeply to the situation. Um, like I said, job career field something came to an end a loss has happened or occurred but then you have the emperor card here which is telling me that <laughs> you're in control now and with these emotions being here the this knight of cups and the palace of cups that's letting me know that you're in control of your emotions here so yeah there could have been a job loss here you might have been really upset by the situation um you may you know, wanted to act a certain type of way. But I think that at some point you realize here that this is probably the best thing for you moving forward. You're trying to be courageous about moving forward and control the situation at the same time. Like you want to control yourself and your feelings and your emotions at the same time. Because I really feel like there's nothing else you can do about the situation. But let's go ahead and get some clarifiers just to see if I'm on point. <laughs> You got the four of coins over here underneath the emperor. So you might be holding on to your money a little tighter now. Making sure every, every dime, every penny is pinched. That was the hangman. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. So you got the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This is telling me that you're being positive about moving forward and starting something more, something new that you can invest in and being victorious in that.
Show me faith, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. Now you have the palace of coins. And then you have the eight of wands, rapid communication coming in. So again, these palace cards are unique to this deck. Um, this is the dream, uh, tarot dreams. So yeah, this is a ideal place that you might be thinking about, that you might be praying for, since it's right under here, the faith card. Um, or this could be an actual state of being. But seem, I don't know, you're holding on to your money, you're wanting to invest in something. Uh, there, there might be some sadness here around the situation. Okay. And then somebody, there's some type of communication coming in. Quick. I feel like it's going to be good news. And you're hoping and praying for this right now. But yeah, you're still trying to be poised and in control of your emotions here. Using your discernment. Uh, I'm going to take these. It's four of them. So we have what fell out is the Palace of Swords. So you got three Palace cards right now. So you're definitely up in <laughs> some type of... Wait, no, there, there's, yeah, there's three. You got the Palace of Cups, the Palace of Swords, and the Palace of Pentacles. So could, these could be different states that you're just going back and forward in, like, in your mind. Like, you're hoping and praying for stability. You're hoping and praying for truth and clarity or a decisive, or, yeah, a decisive path to be shown to you, a clear path to be shown to you. And you're also trying to stay in control of the very deep emotions that you're feeling right now. Then you have the death card. So yeah, something definitely came to an end here. Definitely. Um, but this is also speaking of a new cycle beginning too. So something new could definitely be coming in. I feel like that's what this um, Eight of Wands communication is about here. And then you got the Six of Wands is victory. You're wanting to invest in something and it looks like it's going to work out for you. Then you have the Hermit Mode. So whatever happened, which I feel like it was some kind of disconnect, some kind of loss of finances somehow, either through a job loss or through a business closing. Um, yeah, it was a shakeup because... I wouldn't be surprised if the tower comes out here because you're in hermit mode and because something ended. So you don't just go into hermit mode, you know, for no reason. You're usually forced there because there's some internal work and internal things that you need to work on and focus on there. You're looking for answers. You're meditating. You're trying to figure out the best path to take here. You're using your logic and discernment with the queen of swords. As the emperor, you're over here controlling your not not only your emotional state, but also keeping a close eye on your finances. You're delegating that, and not delegating, but um, allocating the funds where they need to go. And then you have the queen of coins, also known as the queen of pentacles. That's just giving me more indication, especially with this Palace of Coins cards at the, and the Seven of Coins, that there's something that you may have invested in that is going to turn around for you here. You're going to find stability. Um, you're going to be fine. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so you got judgment. Yep, a final call was made on something. Um, things are coming into your awareness right now. Okay. The Knight of Swords. Yes, definitely some type of communication is coming in. You could be getting a job offer. Uh, you could be 
being called in for an interview. You could uh, be opening up a new business or getting uh, communication about a loan that you took out. Some kind of communication is coming in. You could be starting a new side hustle over here, but I feel like that there's something that you might have invested in or you might need to invest in and you're getting some information about it or some information is coming back to you about in response to it. Yeah, looks like there could be another job offer here. Or some, some, something else that you're working on with the Three of Coins. Something else that's going to be more prosperous for you. Um, it might have something to do. You might have to, you know, show your more forceful side here. Not forceful, but more assertive side. You know, you might, with the Queen of Wands, you might have to get um, a little bit more assertive. Get a little bit more sexy about things. That's what I'm seeing right here. Maybe a little bit more determination. The Queen of Wands is pretty determined. She gets what she wants. So you got two queens here. All right. Let me do a little bit of clarification or a little, a little bit of advice. Let's just do that. Spirit guides, the benevolent ancestors, universal energy. Ace of Cups at the bottom. Show me what I need to see for Capricorns for the month of May. <clears throat> Give me some final messages about the situation for Capricorn. Yes, um, you're definitely not tower. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling like you're not satisfied with this situation right now. You might be fat pouting and feeling some type of way, distracted, not focused. You might be hesitating about getting back out in the job market. You might be hesitating about starting a new project or continuing to work on a new project. But I feel like you're going to get some new inspiration here, new ideas, something that's going to make you want to start fresh. And of course, that's after this tower moment. Clarify the tower for me. Is this the past tower? Yeah, no, this is the one. This is the tower that already happened because you got the um, world card here. I don't know. The glare is killing me on here. Uh, these are those holographic, <laughs> the holographic uh, rider weight. So yeah, this is the tower that I mentioned earlier that already happened. That's why you got the world here because that cycle's ending and a new cycle is beginning here. This is where you're going to be, um, you're, you're in your distraction right now. You're distracted and unsatisfied and disgruntled and probably a lot of other stuff. Um, but you're going to get a new spark of inspiration here and you're going to wrap up that cycle and start anew. What else, spirit? King of Wands. So you got counterparts on this board. You got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You might be coming into an alignment with something that is directly meant for you. That's what I'm getting with this. So you might find the ideal job that you're, <clears throat> excuse me, Lord, that you're passionate about. Um, something that really aligns with you. Not only that you're passionate about it, but it's going to be financially rewarding to the 
specifications that you need it to be. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling. It's going to be what you want. It's not going to feel like work. I feel like this is something that aligns with you. I feel like this tower moment and see, this is what I'm learning about tarot and especially about the tower moment. It's, it's like everything you can't, everything's not black and white. You know what I mean? All this is up to, um, interpretation basically. But the truth about the matter is, is that the tower card doesn't show up unless it needed to, like, you don't have tower moments in life unless you're you know, needing to be shaken up. Like these are things that are unforeseen events that shock your foundation because we're not here to just be comfortable and never learn anything. Like we did, there's lessons and trials and tribulations and things that we're supposed to be doing here. We all have a purpose for this life. So sometimes these tower moments happen you know, to get us back on track with the things that we need to be doing, that we're supposed to be doing, that we agreed to come here to do. So that's what I feel like is happening right here. And I think that you're realizing that this is happening. Capricorn, you are realizing this is happening. You might even be realizing what your purpose is here. I don't see the Ace of Swords, so you might not have gotten clarity about that yet, but you are in Hermit mode. You're trying to figure out what's going on, like what it is that you really want, what it is that really satisfies you. You're trying to get out of this. Maybe you were working a nine to five and that's not what you were supposed to be doing. You were complacent and not really making any spiritual progress. And so the universe is like, well, wake up. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. But also, you can kind of feel when those tower moments are coming on because you start to feel, like I said, less and less satisfied with the way things are. And even though it might be comfortable, there's still that nagging energy inside of yourself. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? This can't be it. Like, this can't be what I'm here for. I don't know if everybody thinks about that type of stuff or not, but I feel like those are the questions that I ask, that I'm asking, like, what am I here for? Like, what is this all about? And I think at some point we all reach a stage in life to where we're starting to wonder that question, like, what is all this? I think John Mayer said it best. What is all of this for? <laughs> what is all of this for? You got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. This is something that you are definitely going to be passionate about. This is something that's going to make you happy. You are in complete alignment with this. You are going to be, with the King of Wands being here too, I feel like you are going to be a mover and shaker. That's what's coming to me in this, in, in this scene. Whatever this is that's coming in for you. A new job, a new career field, a new business that you're beginning, a side hustle that you're venturing into. Um, anything like that, but this is your wish fulfillment. You got the nine of cups. This is going to make you fulfilled emotionally. That's what I was just saying. And I think it is in alignment with where you're supposed to be going. We can't know everything, but sometimes the universe gives us hints and clues and tower moments. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Somebody could be getting some recognition or be in the spotlight. Somebody could be getting some type of celebrity here. But the cold part about it is, is that this is the star. So this is also wish fulfillment. This is, can be healing. Um, you know, realigning yourself, the stars is coming into an alignment for you. This is a major arcana card. It came out with the seven of swords though, but let me just address this right here. You got two wish fulfillments here two and with this being the seven of swords i'm feeling like you're not gonna look back don't look back or look back but keep walking forward just look back and wink and keep walking forward because <laughs> this is crazy that's oh, the nine of cups right next to the star 
that just flew out. Okay. Yeah, don't look back. I Everybody likes to say this is juggling for the two of coins, but it's really being able to maintain balance gracefully to maintain, be able, you're maintaining two different situations and you're doing it on one foot in style. And that's what this card means to me. Like you are mastering being able to handle or juggle things. You're, you have a flair for it and you make it look easy. That's what I'm getting. I also feel like there could be some hating haters around this situation. Whatever's coming in for you, whatever this wish is that you've asked for here. And that has obviously been deemed to be fulfilling or being fulfilled for you here. Stars coming into alignment for you here. There's going to be people probably looking at you with the seven of swords. There could be some sneaky activity going on, some gossiping and rumors happening. But like I said, you just look back and wink and keep going. Yeah, yeah, you don't stay looking back too long because you got to focus on where you going. Okay, all right, let me get some angel answers for any final advice for Capricorn. Yeah, I'm trying to extend these out a little bit. I don't know why. I just feel like I'll be moving too fast sometimes, and this is giving a more in-depth, in in-depth, I can't talk, view. And it's it's like, I feel a lot calmer too, even though it's like four o'clock in the morning. I don't feel like I have to rush to get this out. All right, Capricorn, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies, show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Oh. Capricorn, what did I say? Let go. Forgiveness. Yeah, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Look for a sign. Don't be upset if you got fired from a job. You look back at that and you realize that that had to happen for you to become, for you to get your wish fulfilled here. Everything happens for a reason. I am a firm believer in that. I'm also in a firm, I'm, I'm also a firm believer that there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. All right, so it says let go, forgiveness, and look for a sign. A new opportunity is coming in. A new opportunity is coming in. All right, Capricorn, let's get this all picked up really quick so I can do your little love spread. So we can get a clear view about what's going on in your life for this month maybe get some more advice for you in that area too sometimes when we um have loss like in loss of jobs or loss of career and stuff like that sometimes we our other relationships suffer from that too you guys really have to forgive me if I'm over here stammering, stuttering, and, and not saying everything clearly because it is 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. So what am I using? Let's, let's use this mer mermaid deck for your love spread. And then I'm going to close this spread out. This is going to be the Celtic cross. I'm going to close this out with uh, some romance angels. All right, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn's love. All right, so you have the empress that is what you're embodying in this spread right now. Woo, that's really good energy to be embodying in love. Oh, this could indicate a pregnancy. Um, for those of you who have been rocking, knocking the boots. And you uh, divine feminine Capricorns, female Capricorns, uh, get a pregnancy test. <laughs> Also, though, the Empress is just embodying straight abundance. You could be birthing new ideas into existence. You could just be maintaining this aura around you that good is coming to you, for you, is you. 
What's crossing this empress? You got the two of swords crossing you or challenging you at this time. So that could mean there's there's some kind of stalemate that you're in. Something you're not wanting to move on or recognize or make a decision on. You could just be feeling like stuck. There might not be a clear path for you at this time that you can see. What's, what's uh, supporting this spread? You got the Queen of Pentacles. You are the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. That's an Earth energy there. So that's your foundation. Like that's that's what you've built. Like that's how resilient you've been. That this is the thing that's supporting you right now. Not only are you embodying the energy of the Empress at this time, your foundation, what you go back to, what you fall back on is the Queen of Pentacles, your stability, what you've always been able to do. At, in the past position, we have the Ten of Swords. Definitely some type of huge betrayal you feel in the past here in a love matter. But with this Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like you're being really strong in the situation because that's your foundation. That is your foundation. Stability. Groundedness. You might, you know, be really focusing on your coin right now, trying to distract yourself from having to make a choice about what to do about this betrayal that you just went through here in this recent past. All right. Tell me about the present for Capricorn. Come on. Ah. Okay, so in the present, you got the five of wands. This is a uh, fighting competition, internal conflict. We definitely need to clarify that. And what's crowning this spread? You have the eight of swords crowning. Ugh, you are up in your head, stuck for real about this. That's what I already said, though, with this two of swords. All right, let me see how you're viewing yourself right now, Capricorn. And love. Page of Pentacles. You might be trying to feel like you're, um, or put on a good face. Let's say, just say that. Um, but you're protecting yourself. This really, really hurt. This really wounded you. And you're putting on a brave face. You're standing in your power over here as the Queen of Pentacles hair all over me. <sighs> you're putting on a brave face and you're making it seem like everything's okay. Sorry, I gotta move some of this stuff. It's messing up my spread. Oh my God, I got two minutes to finish this. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to keep this at 30 minutes. All right, tell me about the environment. What's surrounding Capricorn? How are other people viewing you at this time? The Eight of Pentacles. Other people might be viewing you as a hard worker, viewing you as somebody who really puts work into themselves. Oh, they could be viewing you as working on something. They might not, they, like I'm saying, they might not even be able to tell that you're going through anything right now because you're putting on such a great, brave face with this page of pentacles and this queen of pentacles. I'm not taking any of those. That was this uh, ace of swords, the knight, the king of wands, and the page of cups. Okay, tell me about Capricorn's hope and fears. The Ace of Swords, it came out anyway, so it was meant. I love when that happens. Synchronicity, confirmation. So yeah, you're um, you're about to get some type of clarity, some type of shock here that 
it was going to make you aware of a truth here. And I think that you might, I feel like with the, with this being the Ace of Swords, I think that, and with the Two of Swords here, and then this Eight of Swords here, I feel like you know the truth about this situation, this betrayal, whatever has happened over here in the past, you know the truth, but you're fearful of accepting it or fearful of hearing it or fearful of having to recognize what it is that you need to do. You might not want to let the situation go, but you might need to. And then the final outcome is you embodying the Queen of Wands. Again, the Queen of Wands comes out and the Queen of Pentacles twice now. In your career and finance spread, you came out as the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And now you're here as the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands too. But I feel like you're transforming in this love situation from the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's very stable, secure, committal, um, ready to be wifey, to the Queen of Wands. Somebody who's fierce, sexy, um, assertive, sensual, you know, a go, a go out there, get what she wants type of gal. I feel like you're embodying that energy now. Like that's the outcome of this situation. This is going to make you focus more on yourself and, you know, putting out what you need to put out. All right, let's go ahead and do one clarifier for each of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out this reading because we're already at 31 minutes. So I was going to do romance. I'm still going to do romance angels. Y'all can stay, stay for a couple more minutes. Calm down. All right. I don't know what just happened with all this, but I'm not taking none of that because I was still talking. And I'm only clarifying the Empress with one card. Here, please. Spirit guides, thank you so much for your guidance. Show me what I need to see about this Empress. Queen of Pentacles again and the Fool. I'm going to take both of them. Queen of Pentacles again. This is the foundation. This is just who you are, Capricorn. You can't change that. Then you have the Fool. What I'm getting with this fool, and this is what I've been working on when I look at this card now, especially this fool from this deck. Oh, how do I get it right there? Okay. Is everybody's saying that this is a new beginning? And I feel also too that this is a new beginning. But for me, the way that I'm looking at this card is that if you look at the actual story of the tarot, the fool does start a new journey. But he's going through all these things. He's meeting up with all these different people. He's going through all these different situations because these are his life lessons that he's supposed to learn. So every time I see the fool card, I'm going to associate this with being um, a new karmic cycle beginning because you refuse to make the decision to learn your lesson. Or you are refusing to make the decision to learn your lesson. And this can be creating a new a new beginning to another lesson. Or that same lesson in a different way. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing. Uh, things turning in your favor. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles as the foundation. Yeah, you might have been a little distracted by the situation. And deep down, you are distracted by it, but you're putting on a brave face, like I said. This really, really hurt. I feel it in my stomach right now. Show me the Ten of Swords. You got the sun. So even though you were stabbed in your back, a new day is dawning. You are enlightened. There will be growth. You're going to pull those swords out, stand up, rise up. Take what you've learned. You're either moving on with this fool card, you're even moving on. You're either moving on to the next level or you're repeating this level. 
I think I want to clarify that fool. Show me the more on the fool. And I also think because you're at a stalemate right now, that's what it's saying. You're either going to start this over or you're going to move to the next one. It's your choice. What are you going to do? With the sun being here, I'm not going to clarify it again because with the sun being here, it's already clarified. Pretty much, you, you're going to do the right thing. You're going to make the right choice because you realize with this Ace of Swords, you're getting clarity that this is what you need to do. That this choice is what you need to make. You need to quit being stuck, get out of your head, and uh, go ahead and make the decision that needs to be made. You got the Page of Cups. You're waiting for an apology. You waiting for... <laughs> That's what you're thinking about. That's what you're focusing on. You trying to understand why this is happening or why this person is doing this or being this way towards you? No. At this point, there's really no understanding it. I mean, there is understanding, but if you're going to understand it, you have to understand it from this perspective. Everybody has a history. Everybody has trauma. Everybody has childhood things that they have to overcome, baggage. Everybody has had previous relationships. So when you come and join together with someone, um, if they haven't healed those things and they have not found um, enlightenment and elevation and become awareness of, or gained awareness of their traumas and what triggers them and or dealt with their baggage and found complete completeness and wholeness within themselves, then of course your relationship's going to have trouble. And since nobody's really doing any of that work, which we like to call shadow work here, you're not going to be able to understand exactly why it happened. The, the best understanding that you can get is the overall explanation that, the, you know, people, everybody ain't where you at and everybody ain't got what you need. You know what I mean? And like nobody can complete you. You have to complete yourself and that other person has to complete themselves. And then y'all two complete people come together to complete, complete more wholeness. Like you have a hole and a hole, not a half and a half. All right. Tell me about this five of wands. So no, there's no understanding it. Oh, you got the two of cups and the five of swords. So you might feel like you have a really strong connection with this person and this is eating you up on the inside. I feel like this is making you want to do some things that you should not want to do with the five of swords here. You are really trying to control the situation or you're really expecting a specific thing to happen in the situation. And I feel like you're trying to bring it about by any means. And with the um, five of wands being here, that can represent competition. And with the five of swords, this could be besting or winning somebody at by any means, by all odds. Or no, by any means. Even doing, you know, some backhanded stuff. So don't get into that. That's what I see coming in for the future, though. That's in your future position. But yeah, you have the two of cups here. So, I mean, this could be a really deep connection. This could be um, a past life person. Somebody, you know whatever it could be a karmic too somebody that was sent here to teach you a lesson to see if you pass that final test uh you got the five of pentacles the page of pentacles again that was about to clarify it i'm gonna i'm gonna keep these fine so you got the five of pentacles you still left out in the cold but you're over here putting on a brave face but you're protecting yourself you're covering your heart. You got the page of pentacles again. More confirmation that you're covering your heart. You're guarding yourself. But it's also confirmation that you're holding on to the situation. And then you have judgment with the ace of swords um, as your hopes and fears. Yeah, you are. You have to become aware of this. This is the lesson here. You thought this situation was all good with the sun over here, but you were betrayed. I feel like somebody was uh, playing puppet master. And I'm sorry to put it that way, but that's what I'm feeling here. That's what I'm seeing. And you might have really been disillusioned by the situation. And you're beating yourself up about it. 
Tell me about your environment, how other people are seeing you. Clarification. Faith. Other people see you as this queen of pentacles. They see you as somebody who's very stable, somebody who, you know, does the right thing. They have faith in you. People have faith in you. So nobody is really looking at you crazy in this situation. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for Capricorn. You got the Strength card and the Three of Swords. So yeah. The Ace of Swords is going to end judgment are about to make you realize and get a quick reality check on what the situation really was. It broke your heart. Regardless, and, and, and it was, it broke your heart. Simple as that. I, you feel like you were told you were going to have the world in this situation and you ended up having 10 swords in your back instead. Yep, and you, you're going to have to have strength to move on from this. All right, let's go ahead and do the final outcome with this Queen of Wands, and I'll get you some advice. Those uh, romance angels, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. All right, for Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you're still waiting for something to happen in this situation. I hope you're still not waiting for this person to come back and realize what it is that they have. Yep, you want, you want this. You want stability with this person. You want this so bad, but at what cost? Having to start a new karmic cycle? All right, let's get some advice with this tarot, the um, holographic writer, weight, mini tarot. Spirit guide. Ooh. Snap, crackle, and pop. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. Final advice for Capricorn in love and for the month of May. Show me what I need to see for their highest good. Yeah, you got you real distracted here. This situation is dissatisfying for you and has you distracted. Queen of Pentacles again. Four times you've got this Queen of Pentacles. Two, oh, the, yeah. <laughs> Two of Cups again. Confirmation. Two of Cups again. This is a really strong connection. This is some type of soul contract, uh, soulmate connection, past life lovers. You guys have known each other before. Definitely feel that this is a deep connection. I mean, I can understand that's why you want, you know, why it hurts so bad for one. And for two, why you're all up in your head about it still. You know, Capricorns usually don't be fixated or obsessed with people. So, yeah, you really feel something deep here. What else, Spirit? Uh, celebration is happening. Celebrate. That's what Spirit's telling you. Get out. Yeah, this is a great connection. But you're the Queen of Pentacles. And you might have another opportunity at this. But right now, you need to celebrate. Stop being so walled off and defensive. You got the queen or the king of cups. I think that's who we're dealing with here. And the high priestess, you know what's going on. <laughs> Capricorn, you know what's going on. The king of cups is telling me, though, that this person is, um, they seem very in control of their emotions. Now, I'm not even going to say they seem. They are in, they are very in control of their emotion. So you're not getting 
you know, much from them with whatever tactics that you've tried to use in the past to get them to recognize this connection here. Because they're so I don't, not emotionally withdrawn, but maybe emotionally intelligent here. Hmm. So Capricorn, maybe you're being a little irrational about the situation, but I really feel like they they feel this connection too with the King of Cups here. They feel it too, but I don't know what's stopping them. But your advice right now is to, you know, just be who you are. Get out of your head. Don't block yourself off from people. Get out there and meet people, celebrate, <clears throat> commune with family. And trust your intuition with the High Priestess here. Maybe this King of Cups is calling for you to get in control of your emotions. Here. Learn some emotional intelligence here. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So yeah, this is a really deep connection. I feel that. Stay optimistic about your love life. So yeah, you might just be trying to force this situation more than it needs to be forced right now. And you know, maybe the betrayal wasn't as bad as you thought it was, but you know, you're still feeling it deeply. Like you've been stabbed in your back 10 times. I feel like the King of Cups is asking for emotional intelligence from you because There's some type of lesson you're supposed to be learning here with judgment. Children. This could also be affecting the situation here. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, I'm keeping those two. Free yourself. That's what this is saying. From this mental prison that you have yourself in. Free yourself from this. Stop obsessing about this. Capricorn. New love. There could be somebody else coming in for you. That's more aligned for you right now. At this time. You did get the two of cups twice. And maybe after you free yourself from this situation. Maybe then this person will realize you know, and try to come back and try this love again, start this new, start new love again, because you do have, stay optimistic about your love life, and you have romantic feelings, like these feelings are real and worth exploring, you have the two of cups twice, and you have the four of wands, eleven eleven card, which can also indicate twin flames. If I flip that deck one more time, I would expect the lovers to come out. It really doesn't need to, though, because you got the cups, uh, the two of cups twice and the four of wands. Oh, my God. This is 48 minutes. All right. That's all I have for you, Capricorn. I am so grateful for you guys staying with me this long. If you were able to, I really appreciate you guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below if this resonated with you. I really appreciate you so much. Thank you.